painting? What are you painting? I'm painting my bag. Hi. Hi, too. Let's go to a tea. Okay, can I get back to work now? Yes. Okay, say bye. Bye. It's Lisa, it's Lisa, it's Lisa Danielle. Something like that. What's up world? It's your girl Lisa D and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and click that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video or whatever. Today I'm back with another DIY and it is a luxury purse DIY. Anyway, I was invited to the Julius Peppers charity sneaker ball and I was actually supposed to go and do live customs at the sneaker ball, but that kind of fell through, but they were like, yo, just come as a guest. And I was like, I have to wear a pair of custom sneakers, but I also have to do a custom bag, duh. I knew I was gonna wear an all black gown, so I wanted to do my take on the Joshua Vides cartoon kicks, and I love what he's doing with that stuff. Y'all, he even did like an entire Vegas chapel in cartoon. He's killing it. And to be completely honest, what he's doing isn't really that innovative. I used to do this in my pop art class, but, he did it first, he did it before any of us. He was just like, yo, I'm gonna outline my sneakers. It was a hit, so I'm hating because I wish I'd have did it first. So in today's DIY, I'm gonna show you how to do a cartoon Chanel purse, or you can do this with any leather purse that you have. This bag was a gift way back in the day from an ex. I did not pay for this. No, I don't have that type of coin. I know I'm also gonna get a lot of crap about I'm destroying a designer bag. I don't think I'm destroying it, I'm making it art. I'm elevating it to try to make it more than what the relationship was from the person who gave it to me. I also did a pair of Jordan 1s to match the purse. However, there are so many DIYs on YouTube of how to do this technique on a pair of Jordan 1s, Air Force 1s, you name it. So I'm not gonna go into detail in this DIY on that. Technically, it's just the same technique as what I'm doing with the purse, so you know, just put, but you should, you, you should noggin, you should noggin, put it together, lines, outline. This was a very, very tedious process and it is not as easy as it looks. So if you wanna see how I cartoon my Chanel bag, then stay tuned. So unfortunately, I'm starting out with Angela's white acrylic leather paint because my bag was black, so I had to paint it white and it literally took like 10 coats. Don't be Lisa, use a white bag. So now with my minor rant out of the way, you have this beautiful white bag that we are just going to remove the chain from. This bag had a gold chain and I really want it to have a black chain so that it looks like it's outlined. And then I'm gonna take my Angelus paint marker and it's filled with black paint. And this is a three millimeter uh, paint marker. I think they come in three and five. These things are awesome for doing line work. Um, so I'm just gonna go around the outline of the bag. And I guess the key here is to just go over all the stitched parts and the edges, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna use the marker to outline around the outside edges of the bag. And my lines are nowhere near perfect, you guys. It took me a long time to get these lines super straight. And the way I achieved that is by taking a paintbrush and going back over the black lines and making them darker. Also taking some white paint and kind of like cleaning up the edges and the parts where I kind of got a little out of hand, but it just took a long time, y'all. But just be patient and you will get it done. I'm also using a small paintbrush to darken the lines a little bit. Sometimes the marker just doesn't get as deep and dark as you would like it to in some areas, so you'll have to go back over it with a paintbrush just to fill in those little small areas. So now the most tedious part, which is going over the stitching that creates the quilted pattern of the bag. And instead of doing a dot over each like little stitch line, I just decided to do groups of three. So you'll see that I'm going down along the stitch lines in groups of three to create the diamond pattern. Right here, I'm just doing a little cleanup work. And while I wait for my bag to dry, I'm gonna start working on the Jordans. I'm just gonna show you like a little like quick clip of how I did the Jordan. So once your bag is completely dry, you're gonna take your matte acrylic finisher from Angelus and do a thin coat all over the bag to seal all the paint in. 
And remember, I didn't want to use the gold chain that it came with. So I took that out and I went to Lowe's and got this black chain and some white vinyl from Walmart. I think the chain was like $3 and the vinyl was like 99 cents. So I just created a little strip and I'm just going to weave it through the bag just like with the gold chain. It had black leather weave through. So now I'm using a black chain and I'm weaving through the white vinyl so that it looks like it's outlined. And then I'm just gonna feed it back through the bag and tie it in a knot because I didn't know how else to close it. And then you're all done.